Hello, today we're talking about why women's PPE is so important. To do that, I am joined by Amy Rusa, host of The Safety Rack. Amy, thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me on. So for those who aren't familiar with your work, can you explain a little bit about what you do? Yeah, so I founded The Safety Rack last year out of a need to address the gap with women's PPE and workwear amongst all industries, construction, manufacturing, trucking. Um, So part of what I do is bridge the conversation that we need to be having between um, employers, distributors, manufacturers, and then the fun side of it is I get to do uh, workwear reviews. I get product in, I test it, I beat it up, I see how it uh, kind of fits me over a course of a few months, not weeks or days, and then I do reviews on my YouTube channel. Cool. Okay. So it's not something that's like, oh, I've had this for five hours. Let me talk about it. Gotcha. Yeah, no. I do um, first impression videos right when I unbox stuff now, but I actually want to put this to the test because workwear is expensive um, and it needs to be able to protect females. So I want to see how it fits me, how it functions when I'm on job sites, and then be able to provide that information back. And just to hammer home the idea here, we have a clip of one of your reviews. Uh, Here you are talking about steel toe boots. I scuffed a little bit of this up, um, but they've held up really well. You're also going to notice that there's a little bit of different pigment colors, and that's because it's natural leather. All of this leads me to the truly important question. Uh, Why do women need different PPE on the job? Uh, Because we're not small men. Our bodies are vastly different from men, from wearing eyeglasses to gloves to the safety vests we wear to the boots on our feet. And so everything needs to be specifically designed to fit our bodies. And when we're handed men's PPE or unisex PPE, we become a walking hazard on a job site. There's this assumption that, oh, we can just hand a female a unisex shirt or vest and she's going to be fine. Well, from my own personal experience wearing oversized garments, I catch on stuff, I get pulled back, I've had bruises down my body from jerking back and hitting equipment. It's not safe. And if I don't feel safe on the job site, how can I effectively do my job? It it seems that people are thinking about PPE. The first P is supposed to be for personal. Are people forgetting that? Is that the problem? I think so. I think we're just now seeing this influx of women coming into trades. And it's just always been this notion that, oh, this is just what's out there. This is all that we can find. Nobody's thought to kind of push back on the manufacturers to say, hey, we need like for like items. We're now seeing that over the last 10 years. And we're aggressively seeing it now in market with a lot of women's brands coming up. And a lot of companies like Fastenal, that's actually developing their own in-house brand because you guys see the gap. And so now you're going to fill it. And I think that's immensely important because it sends a signal to women that they're wanted, they're valued in the workplace when they can find the PPE that they need. That makes perfect sense. Uh, (laughs) And you wouldn't send me to a facility with a medium hard hat. Uh, Nothing about this head says it's going to be fitting into anything other than an XL. Right. So, uh, <laughs> let's dive into specifics here. Uh, we know that having the right gear for women is important, but let's run through some of the staples here. Uh, why is it important to have gloves that fit properly for women? Oh, I love this one because I've actually seen hand injuries, um, and I'm going to actually put on a pair of your bodyguard. Why, thank um, you. I know, right? Actually, I've been testing these out, so this is a great time to show this off. Women's hands are vastly different from men's, right? We, we know this from length, width, and then circumference. It can be a difference of an inch and a half just in the circumference or length of the hand. So if I don't have a glove that goes to the tip properly, is thin enough for me to be able to grip and use as a tool, then I'm just gonna take it off. Now I'm using my bare hands and now I'm going to be at risk for an injury. This is why we talk about fit matters. I think regardless of sex, regardless regardless of gender, it always is a problem where workers say, this doesn't fit me. So they wanna take the item off and just bare hand, bare, uh, no, no safety, glasses, whatever it is. Fit matters. Okay, fit uh, matters a lot. so yes. this next one kind of stumps people sometimes. 
why is it important to have women's safety glasses? Well, again, we're not small men. We have smaller facial features. And so if I take a pair of women's glasses and I should have probably grabbed my husband's safety glasses downstairs because this would have been a great opportunity to show the difference. And I might do that on my Instagram, but it has no gaps. If I put my husband's on, I have gaps, right? But also if I put my husband's on, these start to slide down. So if I'm in a field where I'm looking down all day, or maybe I'm looking up or I'm sweating, it's going to create movement. If I have the gaps and I work in an area that has a lot of debris, now I've created an opportunity for debris to get into my eye. Or if I work in a chemical area, chemicals to get into my eye. So if I wear these, I'm perfectly protected for the day. They're not gonna slip off. I don't have any big gaps. And for these ones, they don't fog up for me. So one final example uh, that I think we could work through here, uh, having a vest that is specifically designed for women, how does that help both the wearer and any employers? Oh, I love that you asked this question because it is one of my pet peeves and it's such an important one that when you look at pictures or you're out on a job site, you can vastly tell the difference. I'm going to put on your guys's bodyguard safety vest that you have for women, because it's gonna highlight one important detail right away, and that's my shoulders. Men have about a five inch uh, lead on shoulders. They got bigger shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. The difference yep. is about an average of five inches. So if I have a men's vest on, it's gonna hang over, it's gonna pull down, it's gonna make me have to adjust all day. Now you go down into the chest area, kind of an awkward conversation to have, but we're gonna have it, women have to have more room in the chest. So we need a vest that can give in that aspect. We also need a vest that can be narrow in the hips, but still be adjustable sometimes to compensate for the different body types. Women vastly have more different body types out there. The average size in the US is a size 16. But once you get down to the hips, that can change. So having a vest that fits us allows us to be safer. It allows us to have more confidence on the job site. It allows us to focus on our job as well. And I think that's an important thing is out of a lot of the things that I see on a job site, the safety vest is the number one giveaway and the easiest fix to have. I like the idea too, that as an employer, you have put your team in a better position for safety. You are not going to see them getting, like you said before, caught on things because they're wearing the wrong size vest. They don't have pieces of fabric hanging off of them that are just asking to get snagged. Your return on investment on this, your ROI, is retention of female workers in the workforce. If they feel valued because their employer is giving them the proper PPE they need, that's just addressing one hurdle of women on the job site, but they're going to feel valued. They're going to be able to do their job safely. And you might actually be able to retain them for long periods of time and gain the reputation of being a female friendly employer. All of this makes perfect sense. It, it feels like it actually ties in with um, why fall protection harnesses for women are designed with a crossing pattern instead of having the fabric run straight up and down. Anyway, anyway, um, I think it's time for some more shameless plugs. Uh, if anyone watching this needs help finding the right PPE for their team, uh, reach out to your local Fastenal, please. Uh, we'll be able to help you find solutions. And if you aren't already, please head over to the Safety Rack and check out some of Amy's latest content. Amy, thanks for talking today. Anything else you want to mention? Well, can I give a shameless plug? Yeah. So the Safety Rack is about letting people know what's out there, where to find brands and everything. And a year ago, I actually did a post on Fastenal because I was looking at major distributors around the U.S. and seeing how easy it was to access females' PPE information. Only Fastenal had a landing page. Only Fastenal, I could type in women's PPE and the search results was women's PPE. I did it on another site. I got wrenches. So I just want to say I really appreciate what you guys are doing for women in trades and for employers to create this because you're creating a resource that's valuable. And I appreciate that.